Hey class, today we're going to talk about our slab base that you're supposed to be making. What's going to happen is you're going to be rolling out slabs, you're going to be cutting out your design, and then you're going to be building them together. Today your job is to make the patterns that you're going to trace around to create your vase. So you're going to make your pattern out of paper, and then you're going to place the pattern on top of your clay slab and cut it out with your needle tool when I'm with you next time. Okay, so what you should have already done is come up with some ideas in your sketchbook and then put a star by your favorite one or do your rough draft so you know what it's going to look like ahead of time before you start on this final draft paper. So I'm just going to use a very simple classic design for a vase. If you want to get creative, that's great. So your vase is required to be at least 10 inches tall. So I'm going to use my ruler and measure 10 inches. Now, I'm using smaller paper than what you have, but I can get it to be 10 inches. So from the bottom of my paper to here, make a little mark so I know exactly where 10 inches is and I know I have it tall enough. So I'm gonna make at least two marks so I can make a straight line, connect those two dots to be the top of my vase. Now you don't have to do a traditional vase shape. You could do something a little bit different as long as it's a container that can hold things. That's the main part of this and you're using slabs to build it. So let's say that I want to create my vase shape like this. It comes down the neck. Maybe it goes straight for a second and then comes back out and then stops here. Okay, now how am I gonna get it to be exactly even on the other side? Well. One thing I could do is I could just leave it and I can actually cut out this one half here. Then I can fold the paper in half. So I'm matching up the side where it sticks out the furthest to the edge of the paper there. Matching up that edge and then folding it. Then I can use my marker or pencil. Trace around the vase I just made. And that way I know I'm getting a symmetrical design. Now some of you may want to try asymmetry. That means your vase is going to be different on each side, that's fine. But if you do want a symmetrical vase, this will help. Now, I've run into a problem. When I try to make this vase, this bottom is going to be too small. If I try to set this vase with a tiny, tiny flat part like that, it will not sit up and it will tip because this is bigger than this and we can't have anything that's too hop top heavy. So I would either need to try again and make sure my base comes out wider, or when I'm cutting this out of my clay later, I can make sure that I make the base wider as I'm tracing, okay? So we want the base of our face to be at least three to four inches. I would say four inches to be um, safe. So I would want to have it come up from here and then go around. Okay, so this is gonna be the front and back of my vase. Now I need to make the side edges. So I can take my paper and curve it around the edge here, and I know that it needs to start at the base, curve around, get to that neck, and that's about where it stops. So I'm now going to make a mark on my paper where that was. I need to decide how wide my vase is going to be, okay? So I would like your vases to be as skinny as two inches and as wide as five inches. So I'm gonna go with three inches wide for the sides of my vase. So I'm gonna make a mark at three, make a mark at three, go up to the top where I put that other little black marker dot, and then I can trace down so this is exactly three inches wide all the way up this line. And then I'm gonna make another mark at the top. 
and this represents the edge that's gonna curve along here. So I would cut this out, and this, since my vase is symmetrical, this will be the side of the body of the vase for both sides. So this now fits from here to here, okay? And on the other side of my vase, it would fit from here to here. So you can kind of see when I put these together, the side of my vase is going to be this wide. So our vases are not rounded, they're actually flat slabs, okay? The other, the next thing I need to measure is how wide is this? I need to make a three inch piece that would fit there. I need to figure out how long this is, make a three inch piece with, that would go there. And last but not least, you need to make a bottom piece. So remember, I decided I wanted at least four inches. So I would need to modify this so that it's four inches wide, three inches wide that way. And you should have edges for your vase that are all two to three inches wide all along. You're gonna have multiple pattern pieces. So I will have one for the side, one for this part of the neck, one for this part of kind of the spout of where it pours from. So that's one, two, three, and then the base, four, plus this is five. So I'd actually have five patterns cut out so that when I do cut out my slabs, I know exactly where everything is going. If you took 3D Design and you made the letter project or we did a letter from our name it's a similar you cut out your letter twice we only need to do it once we're just tracing it and then you cut out your sides okay so i'd like you to have all of your pattern pieces cut out before we meet next time so that we can start the clay part thank you